Well, first and foremost, you know, I'm really, really proud of our guys and our program. Um, I start off by thanking our fans and especially the Oakland Zoo for them to show up like this today with it being spring break and to have that section full. We all are incredibly grateful for that. And then for the rest of the fans that made this night for Blake, KJ, and Will just really, really special. Incredibly grateful for that. Proud of these guys. You know, when we were one and five, um, I'm sure there were a lot of questions and a lot of things that people thought or said about us and about our program and about this team specifically. And everyone to a man in our program just put our heads down, kept working, kept believing in each other. And it took us going on the road to figure out how hard we have to play, um, the level of, of attention to detail that we need to have. And as crazy as it sounds, I thought the best thing was having to play Duke, as good as they are, having to play them because it required us to go to another level. And we saw that we could do that. Really proud that, even more proud that we responded after that one going to Georgia Tech. And since then, it took us going away to learn how to win here. And we haven't lost here since. Um, and we closed it out today. So really, really proud. These two guys were terrific all game long. I thought other guys were really good. Fetty made some incredible defensive plays on Burns uh, down the stretch. Zach, you know, a couple of defensive plays. This guy, you know, defending that three in the corner without fouling and then stepping up and making some big free throws and plays against the press. So really proud of our team. Blake, to piggyback off of what Jeff kind of just talked about, last year the Northwestern win was kind of viewed as that game where it all clicked. Is, is Duke that game this season? Did it feel like all the pieces kind of came together after that one? I think you could say that. Um, but it was down. I mean, you got to understand with the new uh, layout of college basketball, you got to, you know, you know everybody loves to win, but you kind of got to expect that little grace period. You got to have a grace period where not only is the team getting to know each other, but, you know, some teams are just young. You know what I mean? Just don't know or just don't or just haven't played together much. Happened last year, too. So, um, you know, we got through that, and, you know, we started to tap into our full potential. Like, what were the emotions like walking into this building knowing it was your last game? It was all good, man. I always play like this in my last game here, so it, it wasn't really too much different. Like 21 and 10 this last year, 21 and 10 this year, heading to the ACC tournament. What do you think makes the difference to the team this year? Um, what makes the difference? I guess there is no difference, right? Same record. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys trail for the first nine minutes in the first half. A 17 point lead trimmed down to a one score game late in the second half. You guys didn't really blink in either instance. How do you guys stay calm in those situations where so much is on the line? Uh, really just trusting yourself, trusting our teammates. I mean, one thing we always preach in the locker rooms and stuff is just getting off the mat. Teams are always going to throw their punch. That's NC State, that's a good team. So they're going to throw their punch, but it's just about getting off the mat, how you respond to it. And I feel like we definitely respond to well. Of course, Mother, Bob, and, and Blake, this is the fourth time last five games you guys as a team have shot over 50%. What's leading to efficiency on offense? Go for it, Bill. I feel like moving the ball more. The ball has a lot of energy when we're playing. I feel like we're just, everyone is just happy for each other. You know, everyone wants to see each other succeed. And I feel like when you got a team, when you got a team and teammates that's thinking like that, the ball's going to go in for sure. Yeah, and our success rate has been up ever since the assist number has been bumped up. So I, can't, I, 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 I really ain't got much to say up there. Bob, it seems like you're shooting up. The three ball really well in the past five games. I've been close to 48. percent What is, what's clicking specifically there for you? I would say uh, really just confidence. You know, I feel like I kind of was in my head a lot when I don't see one go in. But it's really just staying confident, knowing who I am, knowing what I can do. So it's really just about stepping up and really just knocking it down. We were talking about games that are like turning points for you. You know, you had the Wake Forest game. You went three of 13. You come out the next week, the Virginia Tech game. You know, you're out in like the first minute of the first half. But since that second half, I mean, to follow up what he said, I mean, you've been shooting really well. You're averaging like 17 points per game. Was there a turning point for you in that stretch, that way from Virginia Tech game? I would say, really, I just got asked a question like this earlier. I would really say just the season, 
like I've seen a lot this season. I feel like I've grown a lot. And I feel like as the season goes on, seeing different teams, different coverages, I feel like I'm just knowing a lot more, knowing when to pick my spots, knowing when to do certain things. And I feel like when, I, when I'm comfortable in that, I feel like I, I, I could be one of the you know, best players in the country. Do you but, feel like a freshman still, buddy? <clears throat> for sure. I feel like it definitely a lot. I don't know a lot I can learn. <laughs> what about, Blake, do you, do you still view him as a freshman? I don't treat him like one. Uh, I gave him a little grace period, but ever since he got back for Christmas, I, I don't treat him like one. <laughs> Let's be honest, he doesn't play like one, so uh, he can think that. But no one else treats him like that. I can trust that you can, can say that. No, uh, most freshmen don't stay on the top of the sky report like he does, so he's not. Did you guys expect him to kind of take away the perimeter in the opening half? Was that in the scouting report? Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course we know what type of team is. Yeah, let's not forget, SEC is a good team. Uh, they gave us their best fight, we just, we just our last one. The record is the same, 21-10, Jordan, and the ACC tournament. What about the vibe you have, Jordan, in the locker room and your confidence? Is that the same as it was this time last year? Yeah, yeah, I think we feel good going into this. Um, yeah, vibe is cool. You know, we're a vibey team. Good vibes. All right. All right. Hey, guys. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. You guys are up to three. Shots missed. Fetty gets the offensive rebound puts it back in. Seemed to spark some energy. How big was that play? That big ball hit a three right out of <clears> It was huge. It was huge. You know, I thought we were getting some good looks. The ball just stopped going in, and they were making everything. You give them a lot of credit, man, and I think it speaks volumes to Kevin, his staff, and their team. You know, we got up 17. We came out of halftime, and we were really, really ready to play. I told our guys, it just, it, like, the whole day has not been normal. It's just been off and just different. Um, and I thought we played that way the first 20 minutes. I told them at halftime, things are normal now. You know, when we come out on the court, it's going to be normal. When I'm speaking to you, it's the normal time that we've had all year. I thought the first three and a half minutes, we really played well, but I thought we let up. Then we got it back, you know, they cut it to nine. Then we got it back to 16. And then I thought we let up again, and they started making shots. They had a kid pass, has made two threes all season. And he makes a corner three against us. Um, and they just, they kept pushing. They kept fighting. You know, I thought Fetty's play was huge. Bob hits a three after that. You know, they're pressing us. We break the press. We get an and one dunk. I thought Fetty had some unbelievable defensive plays against Burns. Bob not to foul uh, Taylor in the corner on the three and to come up with the rebound. Um, we had some game pressure and guys stepped up and made some plays. What's gone into the, the fact that you guys can now score so many different ways now? It seems like there's, there's just more sense of confidence. You don't need the deep shot. You don't need a mid-range shot. You have to find different ways to get right to the basket. Well, I think we've just gotten better. I think guys have more confidence. We have more understanding of, of who we are, what our strengths are, of the offense, what we're trying to do. But I think the main thing is that we're sharing the basketball. It's 16 assists tonight. I think the last two games, I think we had over 40. Um, if you combine those two games. And so I think that's the main thing. Jeff, are you able to appreciate this program's growth over the last couple of years? I mean, you got a double bye for the first time in the history of this team being in the ACC. I mean, that's a big deal. No, it's a big deal. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for the guys we have in our program and our staff. I, I've said this, it, w it would have been easy to roll over when we were one and five and, you know, we're headed to play Duke and all of those things. But we believe they believed in us. We believed in each other, and we learned how to fight. You know, sometimes it takes getting your face rubbed in a little bit for you to understand how hard this is. And we have really good guys, and they were able to turn this thing around. What's the root of that belief, Jeff? I well, we recruited them all, so we believe in them. We believe in who they are and their potential. I see. Every day when I say I, it's me and my staff, how hard these guys work. Like they're gym rats. They're in the gym. They're working on their game. They're eager to learn. Um, they want to be good individually and collectively. Um, and so we see the work that they put in. They see the work that we put in as a staff with them and make, trying to make sure we're prepared. And our scouts, they probably get tired of all, you know, all the things that we go through. But I think they have a better understanding now of how important it is and how important the attention to detail is, especially the young guys. So I think it's all of that. I think it's all of that. We have a great 
spirit in our locker room. The guys get along, they cheer for each other. They want each other to be successful. Um, there's no jealousy, which is huge. Um, and so all of those things have helped guys have accepted roles. Um, all of those things have helped, have helped us. Jeff, is there a sense, I know you guys gotta have to like stay focused, but is there a sense of what you guys have to accomplish to make sure that you're in the, tur the, the tournament? Is there any talk of like, hey, we have to do X, we have to do Y moving forward? All we've talked about is that we just have to win. We just have to keep winning. We've had a 1-0 mentality. That's all we talked about for this game. Finish strong, be 1-0 after tonight. We'll enjoy a couple of days off. Obviously, we won't know who we're playing until sometime on Wednesday, and then we'll be prepared for them on Thursday. Jeff, with, um, we talked about records being the same this year to last year. Last year, you guys were pretty high up on the bubble. It seemed like you were pretty safe in the NCAA tournament. This year, that's not the case. Why do you think that is? I have no idea. If you look, our numbers are better this year than they are last year. If you look at the what, what someone told me on my staff, I never look at them. But from what they told me, we're higher in the net and Ken Palm and things like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, I don't worry about it. I really and truly don't because I can't control it. So I, I try not to give it much thought. You mentioned yeah. on your radio show the other night that uh, the back about 21 season was what, you know, the key thought was huge because you had heard uh, some chatter after last season of can they do it again. And last year you won with the older guys. This year you're winning with the younger guards. Um, how much does that mean to you personally? Do you feel like do you feel like you've proven something by by having another 20 win season and winning in a different manner? You know, I personally felt like I didn't have anything to prove. I mean, I know I'm a good coach, um, and I'm not saying that in an arrogant way. But it's I, I believe in me and us and the things that we're trying to do. Um, having back to back 20 wins is great. It's awesome. I'm proud of it. You know, for our guys. Um, and for them to learn how to fight. You know, our job as coaches is to teach. And for us to be able to help these guys learn how to fight, how to work, how to persevere, how to push through, how to believe. Those are things that if they take them, those will help them in life for the rest of their life. I think there's so many lessons you can learn through being a part of a team. I've been a part of a team my whole life from being my dad's ball boy when he was a high school coach, being a ball boy at Wake Forest for a couple of years until I got too cool and didn't want to do it, having my own teams from high school and college, being part of it. And I've been very fortunate to be a part of some great teams um, as a coach. And then I have my family, that's my team. And so I've, I've been a part of some really, really great teams and team is sacred to me, it always has been. And uh, as long as I'm you know, have the privilege and the honor of leading the team. I'm gonna try to teach the lessons that my high school coach, my college coach, and my dad taught me. Jeff, uh, Will has two years of eligibility, but walked tonight. What went into that decision? Well, you know, Will will walk during graduation in April. You know, I know it's been stuff out there. He has not informed me or us as a staff that he has not plan to come back. Obviously, with the nature of college athletics now, you never know what your roster is going to be mm -hmm. when the season's over with. Um, you know, we're grateful for him, and he's a big part of our team and the success that we've had this year. Coach, looking forward to the future. Uh, you had Brandon and Pendis tonight. How do you feel? Did it make you feel proud to be able to get a win? And so I'm kind of with the culture. Will be. Yeah, well, Biba's here just about every game, and so we're always great, you know, grateful that he's here. You know, just like last year, he was here in every game, so he understands the culture. I think it's one of the reasons he wanted to be a part of it. His brother helped change the culture, along with those guys last year. These guys have continued, you know, to build that. Um, and look, man, we can't say enough about Blake. I mean, what he has meant to this program, and specifically for me, you know, to have a guy like that that believes and that. You know, he gives the message to our team every day in practice. You know, it normally would be in the past where I would, we'd huddle up and, you know, they'd stretch and we'd huddle and I'd come down there and say something and try to motivate. I was getting ready to do it the first practice this year and he did it. And I thought, wow, what he said was, was pretty dang on good. Did it again the next day. I just got close and listened. And I was like, man, that's, that's way better than what I was planning to say. I just let him do it. He's done it. These guys believe in him and, and what he has meant for this program, for me, for our coaching staff, 
When you have a guy that believes like that, and our paths cross for a reason. When I took this job six years ago, he was a guy that his name came across our desk. And I don't think I ever talked to him. I watched him on tape, and I don't know why we didn't go after him. It was stupid. Um, I think in year four, when we were here, he was available that semester. And I know that my brother talked to his dad, and but we didn't we didn't pull the trigger. I don't I don't know why. I, don't, I was thinking about so much other stuff at that time. Uh, but when that season was over with, and we tried to you know started building that team, fortunately he was still available. And again, our paths crossed for a reason. You know, we needed him. He needed us. And it's been an unbelievable uh, journey that we've been on together and grateful that we still have more to do. The importance of the role of just having someone like him, not only what he brings, but also carrying over the leadership factor from last year's team to this year's team. How important is that to have a, a, a tone setter like that? It's huge. It's huge. But I think even more important, like he was a part of winning last year, of turning. He was a part of winning before he got here. So he knows what it looks like. I think the biggest thing, though, and the biggest example that Blake has given to every kid in this program, and even us as a staff, you want people that are grateful. You want people that appreciate being here. And for as long as I'm the coach here, I'm going to fight to have that, to get guys that appreciate. No one's bigger than the program, whether it's me, whether it's whoever the best player is, whether it's Charles Smith, DeWan Blair, Jamie, like no one's bigger than the program. And he has been so grateful and appreciative to the city, the zoo, the fans, us as a staff, the university, everybody. And it's been really, really awesome to be around every day. Real quick, Jeff, uh, just uh, on Fetty, have you seen consistent progress from him lately? He's, I think he scored eight, seven, and now eight, eight, eight and nine points again. Yeah, it's that, but it's more so the rebound. You know, the defense, all of those things, the energy that he plays with, I think he's, you know, doing a really good job for us. Thanks, Thank you, Jeff.